9th of March 2005, Holiday Inn Resort Orlando Suites Water Park was renovated into the first Nickelodeon Hotel. It was a place of joy for many, but for others, not so much. Just under two decades after its initial opening, the Nickelodeon Hotel would cease to exist. How did I do? Did I do good? Was that a good dramatic intro? Oh, we are ready to go. We are ready to talk about binge bob, squinge bob, bingey bingey, squingy bob, bob, binge bob, squinge bob, bob, squint pants, binge bob, bob squint pants. Nickelodeon hotel time. Welcome back, everybody. I'm so excited. I don't know why. I'm so hyped to talk about the Nickelodeon hotel today. I don't, I have no idea why. It's not even going to be that informational. I'm just here to have some funny funnies and laugh at some things. <laughs> I'm a big fan of SpongeBob. Bob. Nickelodeon's own Mickey Mouse, except it wasn't a mouse, it was an anthropomorphic sponge, uh, which is fine, I suppose. Interesting choice there, Nickelodeon. But what we didn't need was this hotel. A new family retreat. Each room is a suite. Dine with tunes. TVs in each room. Two pools, it's out of sight. Live shows every night. Water slides and basketball, the Nick Hotel has got it all! Nick, 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 Nick. Nick Hotel, yeah! I found out about this hotel roughly roughly a year ago now I'd say a year and a few months ago and when I first saw some photos of it I thought that is the most uncanny looking thing I've ever seen in my life the color scheme just the vibrant neon colors on the on the white walls does not sit well with me at all not to mention the bedrooms that you could stay in when you went to stay at the Nickelodeon Hotel let's have a look at those real quick you could have bedroom themes such as Jimmy Neutron you could have bedroom themes such as SpongeBob SquarePants Squinch Bob Bear Pants Squinch Bob Bob, pants. Pants. And what better thing to have on your wall than a massive f***ing print of Jimmy Neutron? Isn't that just what you want your kids to be waking up to in the middle of the night? Just a big Jimmy Neutron on their wall staring at them? That's gonna get that's gonna get some screams out of your kids, dude. That's oh, a great design choice there, bro. Just great design choice. Who designed this hotel? I'd like a word, please. So yeah, when I was a kid, I used to go to resorts such as Haven, which had mascots such as Bradley Bear and Rory the Tiger. Some of my childhood icons. I mean, yeah, that, that kind of speaks volumes for my childhood if they're the icons that I had. But those weren't anywhere near as creepy as uh, the Spongebob costumes that they used. This was basically just a place where you could go, sleep, go in the pool, and have breakfast with Spongebob Squarepants. Doesn't that sound riveting? So let's take an in-depth look at one of the character breakfasts. What is happening? Uh, I am so confused. You know what, I've got to give mad respect to these people for being able to dance around while all these people are just clearly trying to eat. The faces on the customers clearly say they just want to enjoy their breakfast. <laughs> no one is joining in. No one is joining in and, and this is going on. You've got Patrick and Spongebob belly dancing. It's just a, it, I, I, I mean, mad respect. I don't think I could ever do this job. I, I can't even show myself on the internet, let alone, let alone do, look at this, what's going on here? Let alone dance, dance about. I mean, if I was in the character costume, maybe, but, but the people who aren't even in costume, look at that kid there. Oh, he is not impressed. <laughs> That is the least impressed I have ever seen one human being on any topic, and and of all things, it's at the. It, <laughs> he's disappointed <laughs> about the SpongeBob character breakfast at the Nickelodeon Hotel. <laughs> Now, while we're on the topic of character breakfast, let's just quickly analyze the character costumes that they use in these character breakfasts because they are really something else. They are something else altogether. They are, oh, they are spicy nice, ladies and gentlemen. They are spicy nice. But here's the catch, right? This is what makes today's video very special. I am not gonna be the one looking at the character costumes today. I'm gonna hand it over to my friend Unique Geese to check out these character costumes for me because I'm lazy. The stage is yours, or in this case, the, the bedroom, because I don't have a stage. I'm not, my production value isn't that high. <laughs> Yo, we out here. Um, Piranha Roni wanted me here. I don't really know why he wanted me. I'm just a fat ass American. But uh, as Americans, we're going to talk about hotels and Nickelodeon. So, my man sent over a few videos and clips for me to take a look at. Uh, why don't we go and just take a look? All right, so I got a bunch of pictures of some mascot costumes. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. When I was younger, mascots didn't work, weren't up my alley. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit creeped out by him still. I'm going to be honest. If, uh, I can look at pictures of him all day. But if I'm out like and about at like a fair or something, and some dude dressed as a giant cow comes at me, I'm, I'm running. I'm running. Let's take a look at some of this. This seems to be from the Nick Hotel, different meet and greets. 
out here looking like he's a mime trapped in a box or something. I'm a little bit, a little bit concerned about that. Following the lines of Squidward, this man is looking like a straight child molester out here with a good grip. Look at how deep, it's a bad picture, but look how deep that girl's neck is into his side. Dude has a thick grip on her arm. Look at that. Look at how, like, <sighs> Then, of course, we got the classic Jimmy Neutron. I'm going to be honest, that face, I, I don't know how I feel about it. Because it honestly looks like in this picture, like, it's just flat. But I know it's like a 3D mask. It looks like someone, I, I don't. I don't know how I feel about that, man. I also don't like how his sock and where his ankle should be is completely dislocated from where his leg is. And of course, we've got Tommy Pickles, the giant baby. I, I think they would have been better off just uh, grabbing a random baby from one of the workers and just putting a blue shirt on it and saying, there you go, there's your Tommy. Something's, like, intimidating about this giant, giant baby. It's, like, looking into my eyes like it's going to slaughter me or something then of course we got the class oh my god i just oh i was looking at the image preview of this and I, I i thought it was just gonna be <laughs> i thought it was just gonna be patrick but it it's so much more it's it's the it's the sponge too the bob you got the bob out here what's he doing you can tell this was for a halloween event but personally i think that uh they should have just had the flying shopping list out here and we would have been fine. Instead of getting whatever this monstrosity is. On the topic of Spongebob, we got a picture of the old mascot costume. Which honestly looks more accurate than the new one. Like this one looks true to the actual character. But I feel something's just like menacing about these costumes. There's like an uncanny valley like difference between like this and Disney. Like don't get me wrong, like Disney has some creepy mascot costumes but there's just something that's too like lifelike about these costumes i don't know what it is especially back on that jimmy neutron one it's just like you can tell it's supposed to be cartoonish and fake but like there's something just like something just stares into your soul and then of course you got the new one like in these swim trunk things um again less accurate to the actual character in my opinion but like i don't know if it's something about the eyes it's still really creepy but it's less creepy, in my opinion. I don't know. Okay, but one thing we got to talk about is how uncultured the owner of this channel is. He literally named this picture IDK who this is, but it's creepy. You don't know about my man, Little Bill? I grew up on Little Bill, okay? I watched this with my grandparents. I watched this with my dad. This was my show. Little Bill was my show. And you were completely disrespectful. And he also had a video he wanted me to take a look at. Let's go and open that up. So it seems to be like a meet and greet, like breakfast or lunch or something similar to what you see at Disney um, with the Ohana restaurant uh, at the Polynesian Resort and stuff. Very reasonable. It's good. They're rocking the new outfits uh, for sure. Uh, the new non-Bob SpongeBob that I'm seeing. Patrick's looking kind of fly, though. He's got the floaties. I don't really get that. Oh my lord, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at my homeboy Eugene Krabs out here. What is he doing? Hold on, hold on. My man looks like he just saw his mother get massacred. Homeboy looks like he's dining out at Red Lobster right now. What in the world is going on with his face? Holy cow, dude. Don't get me wrong, he's not a happy character, but something about that is just like, he's terrified. Like, something... Something catastrophic is happening off camera right now. Something is happening behind the cameraman or something. Look at his face. He's absolutely terrified. No, I'm going to be honest. I'm not really vibing with pa Patrick and SpongeBob's moves, but Sandy in the back can get it. Look at him go. Look at look at him go. Ho! Oh, oh, ho! His elbow. Okay, Squidward vibing though. Good word, just kind of vibe, and that's okay. Oh, Sandy. Woo! They do be kind of vibing, though. Oh, my God. That kid is loving every minute. Look at this kid. This kid's loving every minute of this interaction right here. Look at him. Woo! I would be, too. No no worries, kid. All right, so I'd love to uh, thank you for letting me ruin your video. Uh, sorry that I don't have a deeper accent or I didn't spit out any JoJo's references. Um... Okay, bye.
Cheers, mate. Appreciate that a lot. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming. Very nice. Ten out of ten. Anyways, if you do want to check out Unique Geese's channel, his link will be in the description below. I think that some of you guys would really enjoy some of the stuff he puts out. So yes, make sure to check him out. Link will be in the description below. It's a good channel. <laughs> Anyways, cheers. Thank you very much for that, mate. Now, one of the most iconic things about the Nickelodeon Hotel is the big bucket that they had that poured slime and water onto the residents swimming below. Now, that might sound really weird. Why is Nickelodeon dumping a fat load of slime onto its guests? Especially people with... I'm going to continue that joke. I was going to go somewhere with that joke and I'm going to stop myself because I might... I, um, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. Let's move on, please. <laughs> oh my God. So why is Nickelodeon dumping a, <laughs> dumping a fat load on its customer well, guests? I don't know, dude. Let's find out together. Now, Nickelodeon had this big bucket in their pool and 90% of the time it would just dump water all over the guests. Now, this was here before and after the renovation. Of course, they changed it recently. In 2016, the Nickelodeon Hotel was no more. So they changed the bucket and now it dumps blue water over the guests but originally at certain points during the day the Nickelodeon bucket would uh, dye the water green inside of it somehow I'm not sure how the mechanism would have worked but it dyed the water green on the inside and it would dump over all the guests and this was a special event that you know employees working at the hotel would kind of hype everyone up and they'd be like yeah yeah let's get slime together dude let's get slime <laughs> and of course all the kids would love this they'd be like yes come on dad let's go get slime and you've got like 20 year old Pete sitting at the side of the pool with his book reading I don't know Mice of Men or something like Oh, Timmy, 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 I'm reading, I'm reading a book. Please don't, don't disturb me. That's, that's the, that's what this joke is. That, there's no, there's, there is no joke. There is no joke. I was just saying it how it would actually be. Speaking of sliming, they had little events during the day where they would have little like game shows by the poolside, which was kind of cool. They'd have all the characters come out and they would like dump slime on families for, for whatever fucking reason. I don't know. It seems a bit strange to me. Speaking of poolside events, they also had yearly events. So for example, they had Christmas events and Halloween events. Here's the Halloween costume that I sent to Unique Geese to cover for me. Uh, Again, like he said, it's just a bit weird looking. This is a monstrosity and it doesn't, it belongs in the bin, to be completely honest with you. This, this belongs in the bin. I love Halloween, but you've messed up your Halloween event by putting this, this as your, as your SpongeBob mascot. What is this, Nickelodeon? What is that? Anyway, yeah, they had yearly events. Uh, they had a Christmas event, which was really cool. They had lights all over the place. The characters would come out in seasonal gear. I, I think it was really kind of, kind of neat. As someone who is kind of freaked out by mascot costumes, I personally think this is a really cool thing that Nickelodeon was doing. And of course, it gives you that holiday incentive to book up for the holiday season. Similar to how Disney revamps their parks for every season. They do it for Christmas. They do it for Halloween. I don't think they do it for Easter. I don't know why they would do it for Easter. They might do it for Easter. Who knows? I'm not a Disney aficionado. I'm not sure what seasons they do and don't renovate for. Now to cap off today's video, giving you some uh, little facts about Nickelodeon Hotel. We're going to talk about the Nick at Night Suite. Um, this is this is probably the best way I could end today's video by talking about this. This this is a honeymoon bedroom. Uh, I... Uh, you, uh, yeah, that exists. You can have your honeymoon here. Not to me. Oh, sorry. Did I say honey? Oh, I mentioned it in the wrong order. Sorry. I should have mentioned that you could get married at the Nickelodeon Hotel. From 2009, they started accepting weddings. Um, uh, you know, just in case you wanted a, a, a SpongeBob wedding. I mean, that actually sounds kind of cool. At the Nickelodeon Hotel for the screaming children. Um, you know, I'm going to have to par. Personally, I would like my wedding to be somewhere where there's not a giant pool and the big anthropomorphic Nickelodeon characters. I'd rather keep my wedding away from that. That's just me. If that's what you guys are into, feel free. I mean, you know, I'm I'm not telling you how you should live your life. If you want to go and get wedded by some guy in a big Patrick star suit, be my guest. In fact, if you do that, send me footage of it. You can send me messages on Discord. Do that. Do that. Send me pictures of your wedding. If you do, if you if you do that, no one's going to do that. No one's going to do that. Anyways, that is the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Thank you again, Unique Geese, for helping me out with this video. Big appreciation, man. I love it. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for similar content in the future. If you want to chat to me and other fans of the channel, you can join our Discord server. The link will be in the description below. If you want to tweet me, my Twitter handle is at Piranaroni. Usually I just tweet absolute garbage, but feel free to follow me anyways. Anyways, like I said, that is the end of today's video, so I really do appreciate you guys watching again. Thank you very much, Unique Geese, for helping with the video. Make sure to check his channel out as well. Anyway, that's all from me, so I will see you all in the next one.